Hey everybody, good morning. It's Jim Bull from Jim Bull Talks and you know I get my inspiration from a lot of different places and I was riding this morning on the way to uh, take my grandson to preschool and he likes to control my Sirius XM radio. Green, red, green, red. You guys that have it, you'll know what I mean. You know, I got some favorites programmed and when it pops up you can either hit green to listen to it or red to cancel it out. So sticks the grand illusion is what pops up and he says, green pap. He doesn't know. He does like to rock. He's only five and a half, but he likes rock and roll, you know. His zunk's trying to get him to do some rapping, but we're all rappers in a heart, I guess. So anyhow, we're listening to Sticks a little bit, The Grand Illusion, and it inspired me because isn't it true that everything that we do, you know, you got to remember, there's seven billion, close to seven billion, we might even busted the mark already, seven billion people on this planet. And the governments of the world, whether we like it or not, has to keep some type of law and order and control that in some way, shape, or form. And I believe, and some of y'all might think I'm crazy, but I believe that, and it's been proven if you do your research, that they try and dumb us down. They don't want us to know what we know or what we can know because they have to control us in some way, shape, or form. But, you know, I talked about this before that there's nothing new out there. You know, there's no big secrets. There's no aha moments. Everything that's true about our existence has already been discovered. The systems have already been figured out. God put them in place for us years ago. We just don't, aren't always taught them. We don't recognize them. We don't want to believe them. Or we fail to take action. We might even know what's right and wrong or what we should do or shouldn't do to be successful in whatever endeavor it is. You know, whether it's spelling, whether it's math, school, work, your relationships. We, we many times know what we need to do, but we just fail to take action. And lots of times fear comes into play. And I'm getting off track here. I want to talk about Sticks, The Grand Illusion. I'm going to read some of the lyrics. I know the song pretty well. I could probably sing it to you, but you all don't want to hear that anyhow. But uh, welcome to The Grand Illusion. Come on in and see what's happening. Pay the price. Get your ticket for the show. See, I'm starting to sing. It's pretty bad, isn't it? All right. Life's a show, man. The TV, the radio. It goes on. Don't be fooled by... I'm going to stop it. Don't be fooled by the radio, the TV, or the magazines. They show you photographs of how your life should be. They build this persona, this bubble, this shell of what we should live in and how we should be. Okay? Don't believe that for a minute. You are capable of anything. You are capable... Your mind, I said it yesterday, the only, the only stipulations, the only restrictions on you are what you believe to be true. Another scientific fact is that your mind, your brain, this brain we've been put, blessed with, your brain can't tell the difference between reality and fantasy or something you imagine. So I would suggest to you all that you find, you imagine your perfect life and chase after it. You know, the lyrics go on to say, um, so if you think your life is complete confusion because you never win the game, you can win every time. You just have to apply yourself, take action, and believe that you can. Those are the steps. It's all crap, okay? Deep inside, we're all the same. I don't know if I... We're all created equally, okay? We all are given these gifts. Uh, some are better. Like, I'm a terrible mechanic, but I'm good at technical stuff or better at technical stuff, okay? Uh, you know, some guys can pull an engine out of a car from the time they're 16 years old, put it back together, and it runs. Man, you kidding me? I, we all have different gifts, but we all are given the ability to use our brain and accomplish whatever we want to accomplish in life. So if you think his life is so if you think your life is complete confusion because your neighbors got it made, forget the neighbors. They're buying it on credit, dude, just because they got an Escalade and you're driving a 77 Suburban, it doesn't matter. They're buying it on credit, but you know what? You could have the Escalade if you want it. If you really want it. It's not about the money, it's about what you believe. It's about what you think you can accomplish, what you believe you can have. Um, in motocross, there's competition, so join us in our blind ambition. Blind ambition. you got to have faith, man. you got to have ambition. Get yourself a brand new motor car. Get a new motorbike. Go chase it, man, if you're a racer, okay? Someday soon we'll stop to ponder what on earth this spell we're under. We made the grade and still we wonder who the hell we are. Told you, I can't sing, but I'm trying, all right? I want to entertain. But look, we made the grade and still we wonder who the hell we are. I take that to mean we're here, okay, but we wonder why, 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 what's our existence? What are we doing? You know, what, is this all life is? It can be whatever you want it to be, people. I'm here to tell you, man, it can be whatever you want it to be. So let's go back to Sticks. They wrote that song sometime in the 70s, right? Probably like the party, led a crazy lifestyle, but they were wise enough to know that we're, we're, we're formed into this bubble. 
and that they want us to conform. Don't conform. Chase your dreams. Do whatever you do. I love you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Later.